Hello, hello. And we're live for the first time on the new channel. Oh, I'm so happy to be. I love live streaming and I have missed you guys. I've missed connecting with you live. Um, if you know who I am, hello again. If you've never hung out with me live before, welcome. My name is Shaw Wild. I'm an artist and a yogi. I'm traveling. Travel. Um, so it's like no map. Ocean. I'm diving and scuba dive and do underwater photography and videography while I produce songs and paintings. And I write about it all on my blog and I do live streams to teach, um, to, share the, to share the process, to teach what I'm doing, whatever I can share that will help anybody. Um, I'm also a yoga teacher. So everything I'm creating. Oh, hello, Jeffica Jr. Um, everything I am creating kind of ties in music, and uh, visual arts, like the photography, painting, video, um, with the spirituality. So I guess we could kind of group it as like creativity, spirituality, and um, healing. It's kind of my world. So that's a little intro for those of you that are um, new here. Hello, hello. Right now I'm in Australia. Uh, it's 9 a.m. where I am. I was up this morning at 4 a.m. I was on the beach by 5 a.m. doing a naked photo shoot. Naked photo shoot. Let me show you a sneak peek. I'm gonna post this on social media. My studio members, uh, my studio members will get to watch the entire shoot and social media will get to see a snippet and you get to see it first. Let me see. What can I show you? That's not going to take away too much. Here's a good little, it's just a screenshot for you of where I was this morning. Fun times. Naked on a beach at sunrise. I also went skinny dipping. It was amazing. Such a good way to start the day. That's why my hair is wet. My hair is wet with ocean water right now. Uh, salty, completely sandy. Hello, Lucas in the Caribbean. We've got people coming in from all over the world. Um, so if you're new to my world and new to my live streams, um, just so you know, this is a new channel, but I am not a new, this is not a new community. Um, we, we had grown the previous channel really big. We were having really big live stream chats with hundreds of people. The old channel got shut down by YouTube because we were having too much fun new channel. Happy everyone's here. Hi, Brian. Ocean water sounds like a sonic drink. This is the first time I'm live streaming from a laptop. Normally I do all my live streams just on a phone. This is my phone and I run my entire business off of my phone. So I'm just experimenting to see with um, the laptop, how it works how the audio is. Everything right now is through the laptop, the microphone, built-in microphone, the camera, built-in camera. Um, obviously, I want to give you guys the best quality as we move forward. So I may bring in other microphones and other cameras. But for our first live stream of the year, I'm just seeing what this computer is capable of. Um, I can see the chat. Why don't you guys all share with each other where you are in the world? what time of day it is like what are you doing are you waking up and getting ready for the day are you in bed about to try to go to sleep but then i woke you up are you on your lunch break 
You can also share a little bit of what your energy is like right now. Are you having a good day? Are you feeling sad? Are you tired? Just a little check-in so we all know where we are, what we're feeling. I'm in Australia. It's 9 a.m., but I've been up for five hours. My energy is very shiny mermaid energy. Good morning. Alabama, home from work. Brian, hi. Lucas, it's 6 p.m. Drinking on a sailboat. You're drinking on a sailboat right now? Can I come hang out with you, please? That sounds amazing. I named the live stream mermaids music and underwater videography. We can talk about anything that comes up. I usually live stream for 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes we go for like two hours. I really don't know how long it's going to be. It's very organic and I share with a flow of inspiration and I'm happy to answer questions. Um, you can ask anything if I don't want to answer it or um, it's a little off topic. I can just steer it, you know, that's fine. So feel free to express yourself. Um, mermaids music underwater videography. That kind of sums up what I'm doing right now. I'm playing the ocean, like I said, learning to dive. I'm taking the camera under the ocean, photos and videos. Right now I'm experimenting with a GoPro just to get familiar with being underwater. And I'm teaming up with artists, photographers and videographers who are bringing their full underwater, big DSLR kind of cameras, like this kind of camera, but underwater. Um, so I'm being both a photographer, videographer, and a model. I'm being behind the camera and in front of the camera and learning how to play both roles in the water. I've worked with the camera for over like two decades and then professionally for over a decade on land. Um, so now I'm just playing with like, what is it like underwater and what is it? What is it like to, you know, I was going to say pretend to be a mermaid, but more than that, it's actually embodying a mermaid. What is a mermaid? I'm kind of researching that. Like, what is a, what is a mermaid? What does it feel like to embody the qualities of a mermaid? How would a mermaid take pictures? How would a mermaid, how would a mermaid sing? How would a mermaid write songs? Um, how would a mermaid interact with people? That's the lens that I'm playing with. Um, I'm very interested in mermaids, mermaids and pirates. And learning a lot about how mermaids are light and dark, lightness and darkness, like beauty, sensuality, life is so magical. And also there's a darkness, there's a destruction, there's um, a malefic, what is that word? Maleficent, malef. Malevolence. <laughs> Exploring these two things. Um, so playing with video underwater, playing actually it doesn't matter, on land or water, playing with cameras is all playing with light. And when I'm making music, I feel more like I play with dark, like I close my eyes, I'm more in the space of sound. So to be on this adventure right now, malevolent, thank you. The camera is how I'm playing with light. Music is how I'm playing with dark. And then in all of my art, I'm exploring the balance of light and dark together. So um, that's a little overview of what I'm interested in right now. Do any of you guys know any mermaid facts that I should know about? Any good mermaid movies or mermaid books or mermaid anything? Put it in the comments right now so that I can explore that. Um, have any of you guys played with cameras underwater? Just a fun question. And have you guys heard 
the little snippets of my new music that is mermaid inspired. I am experimenting with singing in a made up language. I'm improvising. I just sit there with a, with a microphone and start making sounds. I sound like Enya, you know, just like an elf or something singing. Um, staring at the ocean, channeling the energy of the ocean into made up words and then making a song that feels super ethereal and mystical. And then putting that song along with the footage I'm filming on the camera underwater. So the end product is a music video, an underwater mermaid music video with music that I wrote with me swimming as the mermaid. And either I filmed myself or somebody else filmed me. That is our current project of the new year. What are you guys saying? <clears throat> Jerry is so happy to see me again and you feel better now. Wonderful. A lot of stuff has been going on with you. Music, church, better lifestyle, sports, entertainment, all the genres of life. I'm glad that you're living a well-rounded life. Lucas is on a sailboat. Sunshines and stars. Gaining more daylight in your area. Hi, Davis. I am just spent the first 10 minutes of this live stream introducing myself to the new people and welcoming everybody into the new project of the year, which is the mermaid music video adventure. <laughs> Can you hear the sounds of Australia outside the window? All right, this is also a Q&A time, so if anyone wants to ask any questions, pop them in, into the uh, chat. I do have a question from one of my studio members. Um, if you wanna become a studio member, by the way, go into the description below and you can um, sign up for studio membership with me. So you come deeper into my world and see my creative process and get to know me better. Um, the question was essentially, actually, I wonder if I could just look it up one moment, bear with me while I look up a document on my computer. Okay, so if you've been following me for a little while, you wanna write in the comments how long you've been following me for? You can say when you joined the adventure, like I joined you when you were in the Seattle art studio, or I joined you in Bali or Thailand or Malaysia or just list this last week or right now in Australia. Like when did you join my world? Um, if you've been around for a little while, you will have seen seen me in different locations. Um, and the question I got from my studio member was how did these different locations impact the artwork that I'm creating? Like when you saw me staying at that resort, I was at a, a wellness resort in Phuket, Thailand. And the energy that I had there was, I was painting sunsets and playing with fluorescent colors and uh, working out a lot. Like I was very in my body playing with these big sunsets on the beach, painting on the, on the beach. Um, I would have a big backpack and I carried my supplies with me to the beach. That's a very kind of, is it extremely different? No, but it, it is different than uh, what I've just done this past month where I was in Bali and I was in a cafe, like in kind of like a, a, a an office workspace on a cliff producing songs on my laptop overlooking the ocean. So hauling a bag of painting supplies down to the beach to paint the sunsets versus sitting on the cliff 
writing songs in a made up mermaid language. Those two different projects are obviously connected. They're both tropical sunset, ocean energy. I'm still creating art. I'm still in nature. Um, the difference obviously is that like the painting was more visual and the music is auditory. And uh, with the painting, I was going out in the world, whereas with the music, I'm staying inside and working at a desk. So those are, you know, these create. I like both full of art supplies and hiking down a steep to a hidden beach feels like such a beautiful adventure, a really energizing way to spend the day. Um, to be in a new environment. Like, yes, it's kind of a pain in the ass to carry all those heavy supplies, but it's very energizing to be out in the world and like bringing the studio out into the world. Um, and being at that wellness resort uh, in Thailand was very, I stayed there for a couple of weeks and it was a birthday present for myself. So it was a little, it was higher end, it was fancy. Um, whereas this last month in Bali, I was staying at a resort again, but this one was a little bit more rustic and like, I'm trying to dig in myself to give you some truths here, uh, that are a little more below the surface. Like It's creating different lifestyles. Staying at a fancy resort that's very modern, I, I was wearing more jewelry and I was working out in like a very modern gym and I was following workout videos that were being broadcast from America. You guys know Beachbody? I was doing Beachbody workouts. So at the Thailand Wellness Center, it was very modern. I was like on an elliptical machine watching beach body and like going um, to the beach playing fluorescent colors. I felt very energized and modern and very extroverted. At the little village I stayed at in Bali, it was like kind of the opposite. Like it was darker, more like a, a rustic cottage. I was kind of just wearing like mainly this, like jean shorts with like little crochet tops and um, no jewelry. This is a new ring that I picked up in Bali, but I didn't bring any jewelry with me on this little adventure to Bali. Um, and because I was making music, I was more introverted. So like the surrounding environment kind of plays into the energy of the artwork. You see where I'm going with this? Like being in an ultra modern building with the painting being the focus, I'm looking outwards. I'm looking at the sunset. I'm going to the beach. I'm putting on blingy jewelry and doing lots of live streams and like outward painting, colors, performance. Then in Bali, it was more like introverted. I'm going to put on my headphones. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to, when I do look, when I do open my eyes, I'm looking out at the view. I'm not really engaging with people as much. I'm not going online as much. I'm going more inward. And the painting is more, I'm looking at how beautiful the world is and I'm painting what I see and what feels good and pretty. It's very social and performative. And then when I'm producing music, it's more the inner world. Like I'm looking inside myself and pulling out what I feel. And it's not really a performance. It's, an ex it's a deeper expression. It's more vulnerable. Um, and so these two different parts of myself, one that loves to be in the perform and the other that likes to be in a, in a little cave come out later and be like, look what I made. <laughs>
those are both completely present, valid parts of me. And if you relate to that, could you say that in the comments? Like, do you feel there's a part of you that loves to be extroverted and perform and, and be the, out there with people, connecting with people, talking, teaching, um, in the light? Painting is very much of the light, like the colors of the light and being out there in the world. And then there's another part of you that's more reclusive, isolated, introverted, loves to be alone in your own little world with your feelings in your energy, in your bubble. And you may or may not share with everybody what you do in that bubble. And you noticed how you transitioned through them. How do these different parts of you actually play together and support each other? I find that it's a cycle. Like I, I go out to paint and play in the light. It's super fun. It's It brings me full of like charged energy. I'm like, oh, the world is a beautiful place. And then I'll feel like I'm playing on the surface, splashing, but there's something kind of dark underneath. Like I've got a rock in my shoe. I'm like something's kind of bugging me. So that's when I'll go make music. I'll go into that dark space, into that little cave and feel deeper in myself. Like what is bothering me? Like, let's go and look at it and express it in the music. Like say what needs to be said, get the truth out, <laughs> sing it. And once that's out, it, feel, it feels like it's a really deep cathartic process. That's why I want to be alone. I don't want you to see me when I'm doing that, like getting my feelings out. Um, but once they're out, I feel very proud to be like, look at this feeling that was inside of me that I've managed to get out. And now that that's out, let's go play in the sun and do paintings again or do live streams and teach. So it's, it's, you know, I see a lot of us, myself included, everybody, there's a lot of stress when we feel pressured to choose only one thing. Like I am a painter or I am a musician or I am a yoga teacher. Or for you, it might be, you know, I am this or I am that. Which one? Why are they battling? And instead, just like the seasons of the year to, to realize how these things flow together. Like I have more joy painting after I've done a really deep dive into my music because then I'm fully expressed and then the painting gets to be fun. And uh, if I only made music, it, would, it just gets kind of like heavy and only in the ears and the eyes and the hands wanna touch the texture of the paint. Um, so bringing that back to what I'm doing right now with the mermaids and the ocean and the and it's very fun because um, the water on my skin is so tactile and I'm playing with the camera and the light and to then have that physical feeling turn into a music video. So it, it's allowing the music to play with the visuals. That's why music videos are so cool because it's the two senses coming together. Um, and then doing it underwater in particular is so physically stimulating, like being there with the salt and the waves and the, like the sensation of water moving around and holding my breath and water in my, my eyes and my nose. I'm like, my whole body is really participating. And especially doing free diving, which is like yoga underwater. Uh, so the parts of me that love doing yoga, being a yogi, being a yoga teacher, get to participate too. So that's why this current project, is, I hope this is making sense to you, uh, doing underwater music videos for the songs that I've written, playing into this mermaid energy, it's really tying together these different parts of my personality and my passions. I get to play with light, I get to play with dark, I get to be in my body, I get to work with my breath. And then I get to come and share all that with you. And also, you know, being underwater is kind of a mixture of these introverted, extroverted energies. You're obviously out in the world engaging, but, and you're underwater. So you're kind of introverted under the surface of the water. You're kind of like in your own little world or in the world of the ocean, 
but you're very much out in the world. Like you're not in a cave in your house. You've gone out into the world, you've gone into the great ocean, but you still kind of feel like you're in your own world. So like what a beautiful extroverted, introverted place to find yourself. Hmm. I'm reading your comments now. If you want me to read your comments, write some right now because I'm looking at them closely. Lucas is a sailor. I'm so excited to have a sailor in the audience. I actually am just, I uploaded a video to YouTube. It hasn't been published yet. It'll be published next week, but I sang a song about a sailor. So if you're a sailor, you want to hear me sing about sailors. All my songs right now are like mermaid, mermaid vibes. I think it goes, hey, handsome sailor, come swim with me. Lucas has been exploring Bali. Uh, Lucas, you're saying that I have to try and make this in the middle of the ocean. Could you clarify what it is that I need to make? Mermaid music videos in the middle of the ocean? On a catamaran? Yes, please. Hi, Ronald. It's nice to see you. You say that you enjoy the introverted way. I am generally alone, not really a good or not really a people person. I have always enjoyed my own space, my own thoughts, and not dealing with other influencing personalities. Right? I think all of us as humans... I really think that all of us have a desire for the inner world and the outer world. It might look different for each person, but who, who doesn't feel influenced around other people, by other people? And if you have come to be at peace with your own energy then there's like nothing sweeter than just being in your own energy. And it's really beautiful then to be around other people whose energy complements you or strengthens your energy. Mm. Delicious. They, they support each other. It's like night and day. If you really love day and you really love night, then all 24 hours of the, of the day... We need a different word because day sounds like light, daylight. If you like the daylight and you like, if you like the sunlight and the moonlight, then you'll enjoy the full day, assuming there's moon light. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Lucas, for being here. Please stay in touch. I will be back live streaming again. I'm happy that this is working, you guys. Um, yes, and let's attract more ocean, ocean people into our community here because, well, they'll probably come naturally if I talk about mermaids and stuff, but let's be welcoming of the sea people. Ciao. Um, would anybody like to ask questions about mermaids, music, and music videos that I'm making underwater? You can ask me questions about the photo shoots I've been doing. You can ask me questions about the songs I've been writing, the places I've traveled to recently. Um... I'll just sit here and breathe for a moment while you guys breathe with me and think about something you'd like to ask. What kind of conversation would you like to have for the next few minutes? 
I make myself available to you. And I will show you another sneak peek of my photo shoot this morning. Do you guys meditate? Do you meditate? In the comments, in the chat, would you please? You can say some. Yes, no, sometimes. Do you meditate? I'm going to type this in for you right now. Do you meditate? Yes, no, sometimes. There you go. Ronald asked a question. Brian, you meditate yes, no, sometimes? Which one of those words? Um, Ronald, you asked, is it hard to make a music video? Time, choice of song, things like that. No. I find it very effortless to make music videos. It's not effortless. I do put in effort. I find it very easeful. I enjoy the process of making music videos and it comes easily to me. Um, this is partly just natural inclination. I seem to have been born into a human body that has the natural talents and skills and inclination to play with music and video. Um, since I was 13 years old, I've been making music videos. It's what I did as a kid for fun. Um, my first music video ever was a family video. I, I was skiing with my family and I filmed everyone skiing on our vacation. And then I edited it together and had Disney music that I used as the soundtrack. And I edited it so that like it was perfectly synced, you know, like there was a moment in that video. I used the song from the Jungle Book. Um, I think it's the Jungle Book. No, no, no. It's the, the Alley Cats. No. What's that called? Aristocrats. There was a song in the Aristocats that goes, Arikitikitiki. Does that ring a bell for anybody? There's a moment where it goes, a reeky tiki tiki. And my brother was dancing around the hotel room in a funny like towel. And he was like that. And I edited the video so that he went like that when the music went, a reeky tiki tiki. It was perfectly synced up. I showed it to my family. They called me a genius. <laughs> and I was like, I'm a video genius. And I would spend hours editing videos 
and I was so precise to make sure that the music always matched up with the video perfectly so that it felt good. Like you're watching it and you're like, how is it changing perfectly on the beat? This is amazing. And uh, that's how I spent my teenage years all the way into college, through college, film all my friends and edit it to music, other people's music. Um, and I remember really clearly thinking, I think I was 13, like that first video I made, I was so meticulous. It took hours because I hadn't learned to do it quickly yet. But I remember one voice in my head said, you're wasting time. Like you're literally spending five hours trying to get this one little thing. And this other voice was like, because it matters to me. Like it's going to feel so good. And I had this other voice in my head that was like, I could do this for the rest of my life. I want this as a job. When I grow up, I want to edit videos as a job. I want to make videos. I want to make music videos. This will be the funnest job ever. And then I had another little voice and I remember exactly where I was sitting. I was sitting at this round table in the hotel room editing a video. And I thought to myself, this would be the ideal job. And another little voice was like, no one's ever going to pay you to sit there and meticulously make music videos. So I just put it aside. I was like a 13 year old. I was like, this is the coolest thing on earth, but it's never gonna be a real job because who would pay me to do, who would pay me to do this? Who would pay me to do something I love so much? So then I went on with life and I like went on my life path and my life path, which um, along the way, I just kept choosing things that I enjoyed doing like, ooh, I really like playing with the camera. Ooh, I want to learn how to make music now. Oh, I'm going to try these different types of photography. And oh, I'm going to build a business. I'm going to learn how to do yoga. Like, I just I just did whatever I was interested in. And then kind of at some point in my late 20s, woke up and was like, holy shit. I just sent an invoice to somebody who wants to pay me to make videos. And I was, I think I found myself sitting at the computer as a 28 year old, like meticulously matching the video to the song. And it was the same behavior in my body. So that's how I recognized it. I was like leaning in and I was like, it will be perfect. And then I was like, oh, I remember the last time I felt like this, I was 13 and I didn't think that I could do this as a real job. And now this is my job. Um, so that's how I built my, my career was having clients hire me to meticulously edit beautiful videos for them. And then in my uh, early 30s, in the last few years, I've shifted. So instead of making videos for clients, I now make videos for myself and share them with an audience of people who are my fans and supporters. So I get paid from the videos that I'm creating as an artist. But the, the work, and this is all answering Ronald's question. Ronald's question, hard to make music videos, time, choices, songs, things like that. No, it has been my like greatest play and pleasure since I had my first camera. And as time goes by, I just keep bringing in new skills. Like now I make the music myself and I'll, I'm playing with filming myself, but then right now I'm experimenting and playing with letting somebody else use the camera. So I'm being the model. And like this morning I was being videoed and photographed on the beach naked and getting to experience it from the other perspective. And then another person, another camera person will send me the footage that they filmed and then I will incorporate that into a music video. Yesterday I was floating in the surf, surfers were going by and I was duck diving underneath the waves as the surfers were going on the top of the wave. And we were getting video of this happening, video footage that will be sent to me so that I can edit it into music videos. Um, so it's kind of, it cycles. Sometimes I'm in the mood to edit and do all of it. Like I wanna make the song, I wanna do the video, I wanna do the editing. I made this music video from scratch. And sometimes I'm only in the mood to do a part of it. Like I'm going to write the song, but somebody else is going to film it. And I'm also going to have my editor do the editing. Um, 
You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's all about what feels good in the body. Do I feel like editing? Yes or no. If the answer is yes, I edit. If the answer is no, I hire somebody else to edit it for me. Um, so I'll put my hands into the project at different points, depending on my mood. Um, but the overall project is always easy because I'm, and um, in terms of like which song, sometimes I just grab one randomly. I'm like, I haven't really made a music video for this song yet. And I grab it. Hmm. Says the connection is unstable. Is it back? Yeah. Hmm. Just went on a little rampage there. Just take a breather. Brian is asking me, what is my ultimate goal for this path? Just continuing to let it unfold naturally. I'm just curious where it's gonna go. It's, um, if you have children, maybe you can relate to this. It's like, what is your goal for your child? You're like, I don't care what they do. I just want to see them grow. I just wanna see where they go. I'm curious how their life will unfold and I'm gonna love them no matter how it turns out. Um, it doesn't feel very good to say, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll have this career. I want them to marry this kind of person. I want them to live in this location. Like you're putting them in such a box. So um, that doesn't feel fun. That feels constrictive, contracting. So when I think about my future and I think about a goal or a destination, I start to feel the walls closing. When I think about an unfolding that's naturally going to happen. And all that I have to do is show up right now and just think what feels good right now. That strategy has gotten to me to where I am right now. So I'm continuing with that strategy. So saying no to specific future plans and saying yes to what passion did I wake up with this morning? What feels good in my body today? And then I'll do the same thing. And then the path unfolds. And just like a parent watching a child, I get to watch my life. I get to watch my parts of me. I get to watch my projects unfold. And I'm like, wow, this is so beautiful. Oh, how surprising. I didn't think we would go here. Oh, look at it going here. Like, So with that, I'm assuming the skills and the quality of the work that I'm creating will be increasing and improving. Uh, I'll get to work with more humans, um, get to go to more places. It's a, it's an energy of expansion. So whatever I'm doing, I want to see it expanding and feeling fun. Like what's the ultimate dream goal is that as this path unfolds, I'm enjoying it the whole time. Even the moments that are difficult, there's a, a way to enjoy them as like a good kind of pain. It's a good burn because you know that you're part, you're on the journey. Hello, Gary. Oh. Did what I just say, did that resonate with you guys? Would you share in the comments if uh, anything I just said there was helpful? If it brought up any questions, you can share that in the comments. Hi, Wayne Garen. You said you just found me yesterday. Welcome. You just found me and you also just tapped into a community of amazing people. As you can see, they're all excited to see each other. This is the first live stream of the year. 
first live stream on the new channel. Gary was out walking. That is such a beautiful way to be spending your time. I'm glad you're able to catch us here at the end, towards the end of the live stream. Maybe we're in the middle of it. I don't really know. I'm just flowing with it. Right? <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, Gary, also, I answered earlier in this live stream about the different locations of where I've been staying, the different resorts, and how they've influenced the music and the painting and the artwork and stuff. So you can go back and watch that if you want to see that. Ronald said that my answer was helpful. Um, it does inspire you to continue painting uninhibited. Hell yeah. That's what we want. We want everybody to be creating and uninhibited, free. Like this morning, it felt really beautiful and wonderful to be on the beach naked. It felt really good. I was like, I even have sand in my scalp right now. Now it's under my nails. Can you see the sand? No, camera's not really that good. Um, oh, just to be like naked in the ocean at sunrise, floating in the waves. Super good. People were walking by. Good morning. You should take your clothes off. Jump in with me. You know, if everybody on the beach decides to be naked together, how amazing. <laughs> no, it was not a nude beach. It was not a nude beach. I was nude on the beach. And that's why I was like, it would be amazing right now if everyone was just naked. I love nude beaches, but sometimes nude beaches are, there's something about the fact that we have to have a beach, well, it's kind of just wish everybody was naked everywhere all the time, honestly. <laughs> I do like clothes. Clothes are cute. Um, I just like more nudity in general. Anybody agree with that? <laughs> all right, you guys. <clears throat> um, let me see if there's any other questions that I got from studio members that I can answer now. I'm reading some comments that I had come in here. Hmm. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Um, let's bring it back to our theme as I wrap this up, maybe. So the call was, um, oh, you like my headband? I'll put it back on. Um, uh, oh, mermaids, music, underwater videography. Do we have any questions about mermaids, music, underwater videography? That incorporates, it's like this is the artwork that I'm working on right now. So I am researching mermaids, learning how to sing like a mermaid, learning how to swim like a mermaid, embodying, exploring the energy of the mermaid in the form of music and video. Um, so if you guys wanna ask any other questions about my music, have you guys heard some of the samples of my music? I've put um, little snippets of it on my Instagram and my YouTube, 
videos. There's a, a couple on there. I've I made six songs in the last month that are inspired by mermaids. And the little bits that I've shared um, are unmastered and the songs are not officially released. So you're hearing kind of like the rough draft. And I am going to be sending those songs off to my engineers to get the them mastered and ready for release on Spotify and other platforms so you can listen to them. And then you'll hear them in the music videos too. So I kind of have like a little stockpile of the stuff I've been creating and it's going, it's like, it's on the way to you, but they're getting polished. It's like I collected all these things. We're polishing them and about, I'm about to release them all. Um, so this conversation we're having right now is giving you more of an understanding of like what I've been doing. Um, so that you can look forward to the songs and music videos that are going to be released within the next coming month. Yeah. Um, Brian is asking me, am I going to film a scary version of a mermaid? I probably think that's a good idea. Yeah. Because, um, I am really enjoying understanding the light and the dark side of mermaids. It's not just like the little mermaid Ariel and cute little mermaids on little girls' lunchboxes. That's more of a modern thing. If you go back in time and you look at how mermaids have evolved throughout human culture, it gets dark and it gets dynamic. It's both. Like you don't just, it's not that there are bad mermaids. It's that there are mermaids who are very dynamic. They have this beautiful light side and that's met with a dark side. So it's exploring both. So I'm, I'm starting now to explore into the dark side of the mermaids in the music. Um, the first batch of songs that I made were more of the light energy. And now that I'm going to be exploring more into the dark side, it's, I'm going to probably be bringing in more bass music, more distortion in the sounds, make um, more sub sounds, you know? So go from like, ah, and then into a sick, dirty bass drop. <sighs> Maybe my voice will start being a little bit scarier sounding. Um, maybe the music will feel, maybe I'll start to experiment with the, the beats of the music being a little bit off, you know, if, if it's really relaxing to have music that's really rhythmic and perfect, but to make some songs that are a little bit jarring can create a feeling of discomfort inside. Um, so that's kind of when it comes to the music, the songs, I'll start there. Well, technically I'll start in my journal. I'll start in my meditation in my body and like what parts of me feel tense what parts of me feel destructive what parts of me feel evil like where is that negative dark side energy feel it so that I can then express it in the form of music so I take that feeling and, and put it in sound this is what that feeling sounds like music is what feelings sound like so first I feel the feeling find some darkness inside, express it into a sound, into a song. And once I have the song, then it's time to go and record the music video. And I will let this unfold. What will it look like? I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ronald says, thank you for your inspiration and thoughts. You have made a difference in my life and how I look at things. Thank you again. You are welcome. Again. Brian says, it's interesting to read the transcript of the mermaid songs on YouTube section. It picks up words and phrases that fit you. What? I have not looked at the transcript section. I didn't even think about that. Are you telling me that if I go to my own YouTube channel and look at the transcript, that they transcribed it for me. I was gonna go through and transcribe it myself, but did artificial intelligence just make my life easier? How do I do this? I'm going right now. Where do I look at transcribe? Is that a special feature for advanced members of YouTube? 
How does one find this? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the, what? Where? Can someone please teach me how to look at the transcribe? Ah, sorry. This is fascinating. Download, save, click, edit video, analytics, blah, 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 blah. Comments from all of you guys. Wonderful, wonderful. Where, where is the transcription? Oh, show transcript. I found it. Foreign. <laughs> okay, I see this. So you guys go watch the new video that I just posted, I think yesterday. It's a yoga flow on a mountaintop. I'm singing with made up language. Um, also, that's something, just so you know, some of my songs are like a normal three minute song. And you hear me singing with the mermaid language and it's all pretty and you're good. Um, to get that little snippet of mermaid language though, I sit at the microphone and I sing for like 30 minutes and I'm improvising. And then I listen through all the gibberish and then I pick out something that sounds nice and I use it in the song. So you'll hear the final song. It's like a three minute, three and a half minute song with a little bit of pretty mermaid language. And I'm now also sharing the full length recording, maybe not all 30 minutes, but maybe 10 or 20 minutes of me improvising. So my intention of sharing that is one, to just um, give you more to listen to. Like if you like the sound of me singing and you just wanna hear me singing, you can listen to me improvising with my voice for 20 minutes, like enjoy. <laughs> uh, I also wanna share the creative process. So if you're curious about everything I'm doing to get to the final product, then you can listen to this. It's kind of like a behind the scenes, full take extended version. Um, and then thirdly, I want to also to inspire you to remind you that we don't do everything perfectly the first time. Like I play around and I make a lot of weird sounds that could feel a little awkward or embarrassing or strange or uncomfortable. And I want you to hear that so that you realize everything that that goes into getting to the beautiful final product. Um, and I hope that that gives you an example and it gives you permission to do that yourself. So when you go to do something, you're going to do hours of ugly work, messy stuff to get to a little bit of goodness. And that's normal. That's part of it. Uh, so hopefully that will help with any of your perfectionism and just let that float away on the breeze. Um, so I've been filming myself doing yoga. Like I do yoga for 10 or 20 minutes and then I take that long extended version of me improvising and I use that as the background music for the yoga flow. It's different than the music video. The music videos are like three minutes. I've edited the video. I'm like performing like a mermaid. That's the music videos. And then we have these extended versions. And since I need to just have something playing, I'm like, I'm just gonna do yoga for 10 minutes. So you can watch me do yoga while you hear me singing. Make sense? Um, maybe you'll put it in the background while you dance around or meditate or cook dinner or something. I don't know. Um, so that's what we're talking about for anyone who's like, what do you mean mermaid language? This is my improvised language. And then this recent one I posted yesterday called Mountaintop Yoga Flow with ethereal female improvised singing. That's me. Click the three little dots under the video and it says show transcript and the transcript shows up on the right side of the page and you can scroll down and it says for this video foreign music 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 say hello my life what I've never looked at this before see me I am myself oh my god behind you my own I am somebody's in my eyes come outside you are right Brian, it was Brian, right? Yeah. The mermaid language, the artificial intelligence is translating my mermaid language pretty accurately. I'm just making weird sounds. You got to go listen to it if you haven't heard it yet. I'm just like gibberish, but 
it thinks I'm talking. I'm totally going to write these down and include them in this project because how fascinating is that? Also, if you guys hear something when you're listening to the mermaid language, if you hear something or if you feel like you understand something, like maybe in a different language other than English, if you hear me say something, like I'm making sounds, but if you hear something, a feeling, something in a different language, something that means something, you can write it in the comments or send me a message and tell me. Like I was listening to this mermaid song and this is the message I received. Because I don't know what I'm saying. I know what I'm feeling and I'm very curious for myself to listen back and be like, what is being communicated here? Am I actually speaking in a language? Is it, am I just putting sounds to a feeling? Isn't that all language is anyway? English or any other language, we've, we've just chosen some sounds to, to match a feeling so we can express and connect. So if I'm making up words, I'm making up sounds, isn't that they are representing whatever I'm feeling in here. If it feels good to say it, and I'm like, yeah, that matches, then I'm somehow communicating. The question is, what am I communicating? Can, I, can you feel the feeling? Or is it, what feeling is it communicating to you? If you can give me that feedback, I would be absolutely fascinated. And if you can hear with your ear, like you just, in a different language, you just said this sentence, like, amazing. It's like monkeys on typewriters. I just magically spoke in a different language because I played with sound. That's the fun thing right now. Fun, fun, fun fact thing I learned about mermaids. Mermaid language is called Murish. M-E-R-I-S-H, mer-ish. And it's a mixture of multiple languages. The mer people have picked up some language from humans on land beside the sea. And then they also speak in a language that incorporates more the sounds that you'll hear from dolphins and whales. So they have some of the language sounds kind of like a human talking and other parts of the language are clicks and um, sounds that you could make like with a fluke. Fluke, is that the right word? Um, and sub or super sonic sounds that humans cannot pick up on. So the mermaids are communicating in sounds that sound a little bit like humans and a little bit like marine creatures. And it blends like Spanglish, English and Spanish weaving together. So at any moment you might switch into a different language. I'm getting the impression from what I'm learning that the Murish or the language of the mermaids, it's switching between humanoid and marinoid. <laughs> marinoid. <laughs> Human type language and, and marine animal language. So I'll start, uh, actually I've started practicing that when I'm improvising. So I've, the first batch of songs that I made, I was sitting at the microphone and I was doing human sounding languages. Like um, my, one of my songs is Ooh, my eye, like that, that sounds like a language. Um, in the last song I wrote, I started to play with whale sounds. So I was like, ah! <laughs> and then starting to, to, to blend them. So it's like, ooh, shall I like it? I, I, how, how to go from like a whale sound into a human sound? Like, ah, ah, I, so it's like starting really high pitch, annoying clicking, and then having it slide ah, into a human voice. So I did that for like 10 minutes uh, just to see what that was like. Listening back, I was like, oh. <laughs> whale sounds out of my mouth are a little bit painful on the ear. Um, but that was my first attempt. So um, that's something else you can look forward to is hearing my first experimentations of blending two types of language. 
human and <laughs> you don't want to hear the extended version of my whale songs? Brian, that's hurtful. Uh, I have once in my life heard whale sounds underwater. I heard them um, in Kihei on the island of Maui in Hawaii. I went swimming out and put my head under the water and I could hear the humpback whales singing out in the ocean. Um, I really hope to hear more. And I think it would be amazing if I get to a place where I could actually go diving with whales, but I am still a beginner in the world of diving. So that might be a little bit a ways away. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and asking me questions and taking an interest in the projects that I'm working on. Um, there's links below if you want to come and be, be a studio member inside my inside my website. Um, there's a link below to listen to my music like on Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere. The stuff that's on there is my past stuff. The brand new music that I've been talking about today is not yet released. Um, but stay tuned because it's on the way. And you'll see snippets of it. You'll hear snippets of it. You'll hear it early. If you're a studio member, you'll hear it early because I'm going to share it that stuff with you sooner. Um, also, that photo shoot I did on the beach this morning, I'm going to upload the videos. The whole photo shoot was filmed. So like behind the scenes camera. So I'm going to share that with studio members too. Um, and when the photos are ready, I'm doing lots of photo shoots now, photo and video underwater and on the beach. So all these photos, I'm going to share them with studio members. And I'm also looking into getting them printed as like posters. Some of them are really artistic. So they're like almost like they're abstract images, but then you realize it's my body. So um, yeah, my online shop is gonna start having images you can buy there, which I'm excited about. Um, and my blog, there's also a link down below to read my blog. And on my blog, I share more about my my writing, like my poetry, my reflections, my creative process, what I'm learning by traveling and making art. Cool. All right. Well, now that I know I can be on YouTube live stream again, I'll be back. Um, I need to build up momentum again. I'm a little bit out of practice with you guys. So I think I will, I'll do my best to see if I can show up every day the next week or so. See how that feels. Um, I'll probably do it in my morning or my midday because uh, that's when I have the... Um, if I know ahead of time, I will announce it, but otherwise you just got to roll with my spontaneity. And once the momentum is going again and I'm like in the flow of the live stream, we'll, we'll I'll check in with you again. I'll just keep you updated as we go, okay? And by updated, I mean, I'll let you know if there's a schedule. I'll let you know if there's a set time. I'll let you know if there's a theme of the month or anything like that. We're just going to let it unfold. Sound good? Uh, in the comments, can you guys please write down what was most useful for you about this live stream? Thank you, Brian, for the welcome back to YouTube. I'm excited that we're here again. Gary says that the most useful thing about this conversation was the discussion that we just had about the mermaid language.
curious why that was useful for you. Ronald enjoyed hearing me explain about the process of how I make my videos. Uh, Gary says that you hear me say things in that language. Cool. All right, any final comments you guys wanna share? Um, I really love cultivating an energy of gratitude just in general, like it will make life better for you, me, us, our community, and the world in general when we practice gratitude. So um, in the comments, let's close it up by just saying something you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be related to me or this conversation, just literally the first thing that pops into your mind. I am grateful for, share it, and then we'll sign off after a few people share. I am grateful for. I am grateful for. Sunshine. <laughs> I'm really grateful for dry air. My laundry can actually dry when I hang it out in the air because it's not humid here. Stephen is grateful for my energy. Gary is grateful for his life. Brian is grateful that winter weather is warm enough to go for a walk. Amazing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And um, if you wanna keep hanging out with me more, click the links in the description below. Ronald is grateful for the inspiration. And I will see you guys again here on YouTube like tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I will announce it probably with five minute warning because that's how I like to roll at the moment. But tomorrow or the next day, absolutely. Oh, not probably not. Probably not tomorrow. I'm going to go scuba diving. So maybe the next day. No promises. <laughs> no promises, but lots of joy. I'll see you guys later.